Hi everybody, this is Dennis from the Dennis and Andy Show. I'm going to do the full review of The Unbelievable Teens, issue number one from Dark Horse Comics. Uh, Jeff Lemire, Tyler Crook uh, did it. I already did the quick flip on this, so hopefully you guys had a chance to see it. Maybe that's why you're here. So this starts off and we see that there's a, that uh, there's an artist and she's drawing. And you find out her name's Jane Ito and she's at a convention right now and she's, you know, drawing. So they're just, you know, kind of doing your typical chit chat. She's uh, drawing a comic called The Unteens. And she goes, oh, hey, that's a great costume. Thanks. Would you mind signing this for us? Well, what do you got? Well, and they're like, basically, if you've been to a convention, it's very much like how it goes. They're like, oh, we love this, you know, this is absolutely a fantastic book, The Unteams. Can we get a picture with you? Yes, you can. So tell me about the ending. Oh, I don't know. I'm going to keep doing it while you produce it, but I'm not going to tell you the ending. So she was at Spiral City Comic Con, and she heads home. She packs up her, uh, her artist portfolio, and she stops for ramen, because we all know ramen. That's what a very simple meal Somebody's staring at her, and she's like, huh, did you see someone else in here? Nah. Oh, wow, that's just weird. I know, must need to get some sleep. So she's sitting there working and drawing. She's got her table. She's doing it the old-fashioned way. Obviously, this is 97, so they don't have all the cool electronic stuff that they do now. And all of a sudden, this guy's like, hey, Stroby, long time no see you know, uh, she goes, where'd you come from? Through the wall. Sorry, I startled you. You need to get out of here now. No, 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 it's just me. I'm warning you, my boyfriend will be home any second. You don't have a boyfriend. Well, how'd you know that? Well, I've been watching you for over a week, and it's all you do is go to Spiral Con and then come home. He goes, she goes, well, your costume's actually really good, but, you know, I, you cross the line, I'm calling the cops. This is not a mask, Janie. This is my costume, and I'm going to prove it to you. And he, like, phases through the floor, and she's like, whoa, 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 get it together. This isn't happening. He starts floating. Well, it is happening. It's me. I'm Jack Sabbath. I, and you were Strobe. Uh, the Unteens were for real. Like, for real, for real. And she goes, no, no, no. No, it is. He goes, I was just kind of, you know... Doing my usual thing, you know, I'm, I'm dead, I'm a ghost, so I was just being a tour guide to the newly dead. But then I started getting these strange dreams. Well, not dreams, you know, because I'm dead. So, I don't know, no sleep, you know, whatever, visions or whatever you want to call them. But she goes, I knew that uh, I had to go to the Grand Library in the Land of Stories, and that's where I found the comic book. And everything that, that you're writing about is what we've actually done. And she goes, no, this can't be, you know, this can't be happening, you know. Um, she goes, this can't be real. Why? Because I'm a ghost? And and you know that deep down, uh, Janie, because you drew me as a ghost in your comics? Look, I can't do this without you, Strobe. I, I need your help. I need you to believe me. You said you could prove it, so prove it. So she goes, I can't believe I'm coming. So there it is, the Moniker Mansion, home of the unbelievable teams. She's like, holy shit, just like she drew it, this is where all of her adventures happen. You remember the monitor with the hole in it. You remember now, don't you? We were best friends. It was me, Jack Sabbath, the kid occultist, and you strobed the living light. Then there was also uh, Straka and Kid Boom, and most of all, I remember her, Snapdragon. Her real name was Alexis Moniker, and it was her father that assembled us. And uh, see, and he goes, we were, uh, he was a genius billionaire. He scoured the earth once his daughter got the telepathic abilities to find others like her. And they assembled the team with brilliant powers under Monocle's uh, tutelage. You became Strogue and you were a total ass kicker too. Jane, are you okay? No, I'm not okay. Come on, Jane, this is your life. Well, at least it used to be and it's supposed to be. She goes, I'm not even a teen. I'm in my 20s. You know, I, I, this, no, there's, I've got too many other responsibilities. She, she goes, you always said, Jane, that there was an idea for an ending. She goes, the White Wraith saga. The White Wraith, it was just a story idea. We did it. I wish we hadn't, but it, we did. That was our last adventure together. This is a really cool two-page, you know, spread 
That was how our, our story ended, and it was all my fault. So we don't know who the big baddie is there, but they're Snapdragon, and then something happened. Um, and he goes, I, I did, I, I damned her to hell. Snapdragon, I loved her so much. I damned Snapdragon and then end up dead myself. And I think she's still down there, Jane, with the wraith in hell. Suffering for all those years as I floated around playing ghost. He goes, you can't run from it. You can't. These aren't just drawings anymore. It's time for you to do something. Who the hell are you to tell me what to do? Who do you think you are, uh, Jane? And she's like, what? Holy F. I... I really was a teenaged superhero. So then on sale uh, this next, uh, I think it's uh, this next month here. So that that's the, you know, end of the conclusion. That was kind of fun. Um, this is a fun, interesting superhero story. Um, you know, uh, a person who was a superhero that somehow had her memories removed or blocked and she just remembers them as like dreams and she writes them into comic books only to find out she is this is fun i i enjoyed this i actually kind of want to see where this goes you know and find out what happened to snapdragon how she got there the art was solid um i thought it was good i didn't think it was great but i i thought it it was good and and stylized you know i kind of like the color usage that they had and the story was was good. It was interesting, and the dialogue itself was believable. It was it was decent dialogue. So all in all, I am going to give this a CGC rating of an 8.0. I think it was a good first uh, issue, and it leads me uh, wanting to see what's going to come next. So make sure you guys hit the like and subscribe button. Uh, leave your comments below. Let me know what you guys think. Um, we will talk to you all soon. Bye.